Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. I want to first say thank you for all the support that you've given me on this channel throughout these whole seven or eight months with this pandemic stuff. I really do appreciate it. You make my days a lot brighter. Okay, it looks like they will keep the government running for another two days when they try to work out a deal. Now, why is it taking so long to get anything done? God only knows. When they keep saying they're extremely close on an agreement. Bernie Sanders said that he would block anything they want to do if they don't include a $1,200 stimulus check for all adults, $2,400 for couples, and $500 for all dependents. He said he would block the government funding extension and anything else they want to pass. A lot of YouTubers saying that Bernie caved when he backed down from this, but he is still demanding stimulus checks. I don't think he caved at all. I don't see this as he, he backed down, and let me explain why I say that. You remember how when President Trump did not win the election and he kept all, all the lawsuits going and everything, extending time out, just wasting time. I believe Bernie Sanders seen this as that same situation. And if he demanded these bigger checks, it would just push it down the road further and make it a lot longer before we actually get any help. So I believe he's going on the premise that a little is better than nothing. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments below. Do you think Bernie Sanders did the right thing by backing off of his big demand for the bigger checks? Chuck Schumer said he would be standing with Sanders <clears throat> on this push for $1,200 and $500 stimulus checks. Chuck Schumer said that these are not stimulus checks. They are survival checks. The Democrats, mostly all of them, was on board with this idea of $1,200 stimulus checks. And I don't see this as backing down. Sanders and Schumer, I don't, I, I don't see this as a bad thing. In fact, I see it as a good thing in the long run. Because, like I said before, if they held on to these demands for the bigger stimulus checks, which we're still getting the, the uh, 600, the 600 and the 600. So we're still getting that. But if they held on to that bigger demand, it would be even longer before we get anything. And I just don't think it would ever pass anyway. So really, I think they did the right thing. Josh Hawley has also been pushing hard for $1,200 stimulus checks. He also demanded $1,200 for all adults and $500 for all dependents with no avail at all. President Trump was just two days ago wanting $2,000 stimulus checks, but the White House staff, staff nicely told him to shut up about this because it would blow stimulus up and delay talks and delay people getting help even more. So he did what they said and he shut up about it. Ron Johnson stood up and rejected the motion for Josh Hawley's stimulus check. He said stimulus checks is a waste of time. Ron Johnson, he said stimulus checks are a waste of time. But now, Ron Johnson also voted for $1 trillion in tax cut 
for the super rich. And hundreds of billions of dollars in corporate welfare. Y'all, the biggest thing I see here that's a big waste is all the sperm cells from Ron Johnson's father. Ron Johnson is the waste here. Kevin McCarthy, Nancy Pelosi, and Mitch McConnell are still working, finishing up on the $900 billion deal. They still have a few big issues to work out, like should people get a stimulus check and unemployment boost at the same time? Should unemployment boost be for 12 to 13 weeks, or should it go for the full 16 weeks? Should the lending programs be extended? Should live venues get $17 billion? Should eviction protection be extended? Should it be more SNAP benefits added? Should it be more farm subsidies? These are the things that they are still fighting over. Y'all, they are doing all of this so they cannot help the American people at all. One day you hear that they're very close on cutting a deal. Then the next day you see a list of problems that they're having like this right here. Why can't they just pass the damn bill and do the job that they're getting paid to do? It just don't make any sense to me at all. Some, saying, some are saying that we will get a bill agreed on today. Some says it looks like maybe Sunday. And we also have heard Christmas Eve. They don't know when they're going to agree on a bill. All I know is I bet all of these worthless members of Congress and senators will have a very good Christmas dinner, while many Americans will have nothing at all. And it's their fault. I hope they enjoy their, their meal. Joe Biden is still saying that whatever the package is that they agree on, it's just a down payment. He says right after he takes office, he will issue presidential orders for a bigger stimulus check to go right out to the American people. Y'all, I have no reason to doubt that Joe Biden really wants to do this, but I'm questioning will he have the power because you know President Trump wanted to do this also and we found out he did not have the power so I'm just hoping Joe Biden can get it done he wants to do it he's going to try to do it and really that's all he can do I hope he can get it done whatever they do now on this package they're working on the 900 billion dollar package we won't see anything until after the first of the year. So my big question is, if we get this right after the first of the year and then Joe Biden comes in right after that and tries to push out these presidential orders, will the House and Senate let him do it? What do you think? You tell me, do you think the House and the Senate will let him do this? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Joe Biden is saying that we will get a real stimulus check and real stimulus package. I just hope we can. Y'all, please let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And don't hold back. Use my videos as your sounding board. I want to know what you think. And please watch the video that's popping up here now. It's mine and my wife's show from last night. We don't talk stimulus there. We don't talk 
politics there, we just have a lot of crazy fun. We forget about all of this stuff. That is our escape. And there's a lot of people that likes it. And I'm, I'm telling you now, it's stupid fun. So y'all come on over and watch it one time. If you don't like it, you don't have to come back. But I do wish you would check it out just one time. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He's going to see us through anything that they can dish at us. I have 100% faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through this. But it's going to be in his own time. And I know you don't like hearing that. We don't understand that right now, but one day we will understand his time. Y'all, I love you all. Please subscribe to this channel. Leave your thumbs up. Leave your comments. Just let me know what you're thinking. I do love you all. Ciao.